morning to all of you. So on behalf of Sri Venkateshwar Institute of Medical Sciences and Sri Padmavati Medical College, I welcome you all to this much awaited event. This had been cancelled two, three times previously. And this event is particularly very important. As you know, that stress, all of us face stress in our day-to-day -day life. Many times I get so much stressed that I, I myself need motivation. So I will tell my husband, say something to motivate me. So I think all of us face those things in our life and we need somebody who can really say something which is soothing to us and which will immediately have some effect. I think Dharma Reddy Sir is one such person who can really influence one person's life because I have heard him one or two times and it, it really has significant effect, immediate effect will be there. So we are all blessed that he is there with us today and there are other prolific speakers and uh, the, the, this event particularly is being organized to manage the issues which the students are facing. So this is totally informal event. I'm very happy that Sarah has already told that it is informal and that there is no formality in this. And anybody, all the students, if they want to express anything pertaining to our academic things or any hostel issues, anything, please come forward and say. And there are people sitting here, the leaders are sitting, the ultimate ones who will address all your issues once for all. I hope after this event you will not have any issues and without wasting much time we will start the event. And and uh, once again, I welcome you all and I'll ask Dr. Arpana to take over and continue with the event. Thank you, everyone. Om Namo Venkateshaya. Welcome, warm welcome to all children, not as students. We are here. Uh, our EO sir, Dr. Uh, Dharma Redgaru is also here, not as much as an EO, but as a parent. We, this is going to be like a parent, uh, um, uh, this one, uh, son or daughter interaction rather than a, uh, anything formal. So that is the first thing. And uh, Venkatadri Samamsthanam Brahmande Nasti Kinchana Venkatesa Samodevo Nabhuto Nabhavishyati. This place, holy place where we are sitting is a very unique and pious place in the entire universe. And we are very fortunate to be working here, for you to get a seat here, for me to come to working here. We should consider ourselves very fortunate. And also, at this juncture, I want to remind you that the teacher and taught relationship in the Sanatana Dharma, in Upanishads, is very sacred one. It says, Acharya Purva Rupam, that is, the teacher is the first form. Ante Vas Yuttara Rupam, the student is the next form. Vidya Santihi, the teacher, the uh, curriculum is the connection between them. Pravachanakam Sandhanam, that means the teacher by teaching becomes the student. So the teacher and student are not two entities. This is a platform where the teacher, by giving teaching both theoretical and practical, becomes the student. So, our tradition has given such a very high, uh, this one for uh, teacher-student relationship. So, you have all come from different parts of the state. Some of them, some of you have come from different parts of the country also. So. Uh, coming to uh, different place, different geography, different food habits, different cultural habits, it will be kind of a cultural shock. And apart from that, in intermediate, you have a very limited curriculum. It is like swimming in a swimming pool where temperature is controlled, everything. But now MBBS is a vast syllabus and it is like swimming in a ocean. Uncontrolled, nothing is controlled, temperature not controlled, uh, cl cleanliness not controlled. So all of us are exposed to kind of a lot of stress. So here our leader, EO, Sir Dharma Redigaru has kindly agreed to come here 
and interact with you all not as much as an administrator of a one of the largest organizations in the world but as a parent kindly treat him treat all of us as your own parents and uncles and aunties kindly open up come up with whatever problems stresses you are facing so that as a system we can try to facilitate and make you your stay here a very present and a memorable one only one request is kindly come out with problems which are general in nature not only to you suppose there is any personal problem we'll address that on one to one basis but any general problem concerning your education your hostel facilities your relaxation or whatever it is whatever general this one please come without any inhibition with that few words now we open up to the interactive session with your problems and grievances what director said which are common in nature for all so at least from each class maybe from first year second year third year fourth year or house surgeons from each class one or two persons can come and briefly they can express their issues which you are unable to express anywhere be free what director correctly said that it is like a parent teacher meeting. association meeting don't feel that uh, director is your boss you can't speak anything in front of him principal is your boss dean is your boss and or and another um, that surgical professor is your boss don't worry about anything i have already requested all of them to take the role of parent here and not uh, as a hod or as a dean or as a principal or as a director or executive officer we would like to take the role of parent you are all our children you must come and uh, express your issues after your problems are expressed in a, ma in a matter of 20 or 30 minutes then we will address those things immediately or how to address them a plan will be made and thereafter i'll speak to you thank you yeah, MB, uh, finally i am bbs sir uh, first of all i would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity for coming our problems on behalf of all the students and sir i would like to uh, also thank you uh, for all the changes that have taken place in the swims after ttd has taken charge over the swims sir our concern is uh, in swims sri padmavati medical college of for students i mean for women we don't have separate auditorium for ourselves for uh, to conduct any conference <laughs> to conduct for any conference or events of face or even a small student gatherings or to conduct any quiz we have to depend on other auditoriums even we have to come all the uh, way from college to mati even to uh, he hear this speech or your yeah, motivational talks so i would like to request for an auditorium for ourselves that is for our swims university on behalf of all the courses that are being held in the swims thank you sir andar ki namaskaram myself uh... I am Nirmala Chaudhary from Rajasthan, sir. I am from third year MBBS. Many facilities, and they are increasing day by day. We are really thankful for all of them. But one, of, there are some issues which I want to raise in on behalf of all of us. One of them is that uh, accommodation problems, sir. Many of us are staying in different uh, hostels, sir. Because of that problem, we won't be able to interact with our seniors or juniors. So. we want to stay at the same same place all mbbs batches at the same place and so second we don't have community hall for our parents if they come to visit us and also sanitation facilities sir so they'll face lot of problems especially uh, fathers uh, like parents, mothers we can take in our home like rooms but fathers will be having problem and so um, 
we are in third year sir that uh, and we didn't get a single opportunity to see a autopsy sir forensic medicine so we don't have autopsy facility and sir we are already very happy that we have such a beautiful ground sir but uh, there are some sports we can't play there so indoor stadium if uh, you can provide sir so like basketball court also and indoor stadium and sir inter college competitions like we don't have any inter college competitions in sports so we can have those it will encourage us to play and uh, like get out of our stress and all and sir there are some uh, like clinical postings in which patient load is less sir if you could do something for it like we will not be able to learn much in those postings some of the postings we don't have much patient load sir that's it sir thank you so much mbbs i am uh, i would like to thank for the giving this giving me this opportunity i request from all our batch or all our uh, mbbs students to provide us a canteen which which includes basic needs stationery and other utilities as we have to go out of the university for our basic needs and which include also some food items which if we are in a hurry we miss breakfast so many students are uh, not doing breakfast in a hurry so please uh, consider this as a request and please provide as a canteen so thank you so much venkatesh aya good morning to everyone sir ma'am I am Hemalata from first year, uh, 2022 batch, sir. Sir, uh, I'm really happy and grateful to be, for being in this college, sir. And I'm so thankful for you, sir, for providing us free mess. Uh, but there are some concerns, sir, because uh, if sometimes uh, we go late to the mess, means there is no food for us, sir. All the chefs are leaving sometimes fastly, sir. And and we uh, my request is please provide uh, chapati at least for two days or uh, very weeks sir and sir uh, as a first year student one more thing sir and dissection hall we don't have bodies to dissect sir there are already dissected bodies sir that we learn from them sir and it is not only for us sir for our seniors all the same like that is because of corona sir but we are also facing the same problem thank you sir. thank you my name is sharika from freshers batch 2023 i'm very happy to get seat in this college because uh, classes are excellent and this beautiful environment attracts me a lot <laughs> I am very happy there are uh, so many basic facilities in our college but I am facing some issues regarding main ho hostel. We are getting hostel in a polytechnic call, uh, hostel sir. So a lot of time is being wasted um, uh, from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock uh, being staying here and there roaming a whole campus. So we want uh, hostel in our main, call, uh, main campus sir. So please, I'm requesting you to provide us hostel in our main campus, sir. And there is no no a proper place to sit uh, after four o'clock. Uh, so I'm requesting, sir. So buses are being overcrowded, sir. Two buses are there. They are so much overcrowded. So we want three buses, sir. And we want water supply properly in our polytechnic hostel. So please provide us as soon as possible the main hostel, sir. Thanking you, sir. Uh, firstly, I'm really thankful for all the facilities available in our college. I would like to, uh, we would like to ask for an ACS in the, providing ACS in classrooms. Yes, sir. Uh, another request is since we all are part of uh, TTD, we require few free darshanams. <laughs> At least once or twice in a year. And uh, to relieve our stress, we would like to have a uh, few in college trips or educational trips. Thank you, sir. Om Namo Venkateshaya, 
respected dignitaries seated on the dais, our beloved Yuva Garu, our Director of Vice Chancellor Sir, Principal Madam, Registrar Madam and both Vice Principals, faculty and my dear students. We are indeed fortunate to have this interactive session today. I am very happy to know that you have come out with lots of your queries and your requests. From my side, the request to you is at 8 a.m. sharp in the 8 to 9 theory class, I need to have less than 5% absentees. At 8 a.m. when I go to take the class, if I find more than 5% absent, then there is something which is bothering you. What all you have put forward, I am sure our EO sir will show us a way to resolve them. As your problems are being addressed, you also address the issue of being on time, attending all classes and the postings with commitment. In, so that is the way, that is what as teachers we expect, that you come on time and listen to all the lectures. For to talk to you for a one hour lecture, we prepare for three to four hours. So naturally there are issues, the mess is not starting early, you are not getting hot water, you are getting delayed, fine. Now, let, now we are in the way to solve these problems. So kindly help us to help you. Thank you. Things which uh, uh, problems or issues, autopsy and uh, these medical things, uh, I request director or principal to address them now. Rest of the things, while I address you, I will try to give you some solutions. MOU with the SV University, for some reason there was some obstruction to it. We have spoken it with the director of medical education, Andhra Pradesh. And also we are taking up with the chairman of the SV uh, Medical College. So very soon we will be resuming these anatomy dissections and we see and get bodies for ourselves uh, more than what uh, is required for them. So that is going to be in place in another one or two weeks. You need not wait long. So that is that part is being taken care of. The second issue is about the autopsies. Even that we have an MOU with the uh, SV Medical College and this also the Director of Medical Education has spoken to the principal and in another week or so we will be resuming that. The third thing which people have forgotten is about the ophthalmology because there are no faculty at the moment for unfortunate reasons. But we have recruited some yesterday and also we are getting some visiting faculty from the SV Medical College and Aravind Hospital to give some lectures and perform some operations so that your curriculum does not get affected. So as we are going along the program, you have any further issues or any thoughts come up also you are most welcome to uh, uh, represent and we try to address them. March now, 2020, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the faculty in the other departments like ENT and pediatrics were also there. That was the concern that is from coming there. Sir. But there were interviews which were going on, sir. So we didn't know uh, whether the faculty were recruited or not. So that was the concern we have right now, sir. So that Inflow will be reduced. So there were concerns about that, sir. So we didn't exactly know what is happening there. So that is the issue. That, that is a very good uh, point you brought out right in front of EO, sir. See, we have taken some uh, measures already. Uh, what we have done is, we have identified some kind of a billing issues in our uh, system. So there is a high power committee which was uh, appointed and they have critically looked at the billing process and uh, the billing part has come down. Okay. The second thing is uh, we have brought in some other uh, uh, administrative changes so that the bills will confine to the RG3 patients only. Now, you must not have noticed, after almost uh, three months, we have crossed 500 admissions since yesterday and today. 
So we, it used to be around 400, 450, 480. Yesterday and today, so that the change has started and very soon, next month, you should be seeing uh, uh, more uh, this one. And also you will be very happy to know some of our surgical super specialties are planning to move to Padmavati building. This is with the permission of this sir. So the neurosurgeons have agreed. We have uh, cardiothoracic surgeons we are moving and uh, plastic surgeons have agreed and urologists have agreed. So you will have four super specialties moving straight to your building. So there will be more number of uh, patients coming. So I am sure next two months you should not have any uh, problem from this point of view. Arograsi issue is about 80% it is solved. Next 20% in another couple of weeks it will be addressing and you will definitely see uh, improvement of bed occupancy and more and more patients coming and more material for you to learn. Uh, sir, one more concern that is regarding the hostel, sir. Sir, uh, there was a gym in the hostel but the equipment is not there, sir. Like, there were no, uh, no equipment in the gym, sir. That is regarding the hostel issues. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pramhande Nasti Kinchana Venkatesi Samudeo Nabhuto Nabhavishyati The meaning of uh, this shloka is that there is no equivalent place or higher place than Tirumala Hills in the universe, not on earth, entire universe. There is no God above Lord Venkateshwara or equal to Him in the universe. The simple meaning is that Lord Venkateshwara, incarnation of Lord Vishnu, is the boss of this entire universe. He who controls this universe, who has come here to Tirumala as Archa Murti to bless entire human beings in, on this earth. This is the meaning of uh, this shloka. So, this entire institute swims as well as Padmavati Medical College is owned by Lord Venkateshwara who is controlling this universe. You are all very blessed to study in his institute and go out of this institute with his blessings. Director Dr. R. V. Kumar Gar, Dean Dr. Alladi Mohangar, Principal and all other senior professors on the dais, faculty, dear students. I wanted to have a interactive session with all of you to know about your problems, issues and to re resolve them as early as possible to make you very comfortable and study well. Also, I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you about the uniqueness of your medical college, how this medical college is so unique, which is much, much even better than All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi. So, once you know about this importance, uniqueness and the opportunities, facilities available here, you will have better idea and also you will get more enthusiasm to study well. First, uh, I will deal with your issues, whatever you have raised, and then we will further go ahead with our uh, interaction. One thing, auditorium, they have requested, yes, auditorium is required. And uh, at present, uh, Mahati is available to you as far as quiz programs and uh, any other uh, traditional programs are concerned, Mahati can be used. 
in Mahati, the uh, what you can say contemporary cultural programs like other than traditional and religious, uh, they are not allowed. So you may not like to, you may like to have those kind of uh, cultural programs also for which uh, Srinivas Auditorium in S U University campus is available. We will always provide you, and that is also there is no transport is required walking distance. Uh, you can go there and uh, you can have your programs. Meanwhile, definitely I will look into to look into uh, into the issue of uh, providing auditorium to you. I will request uh, our engineers to make the estimates uh, and uh, how best, uh, how far, how fast we can provide. Because recently what we have done is a lot of uh, capital works we have taken up in swims after swims has been handed over to TTD. One building of 100 crores uh, to accommodate uh, neurology department, both neurology and neuroscience, neurosurgery, cardiology, cardiothoracic surgery. These four departments uh, we are housing in state of the art building with 100 crores which we have sanctioned. Uh, that is under tender, tender stage and uh, another 60 to 70 crores uh, we have released uh, for the purpose of uh, completing hostel with 144 rooms uh, which is adjacent to your present hostel. That uh, was being done by the government of Andhra Pradesh due to some issues uh, the construction was stopped. Now we have token, taken over this building completely and funding has been done. Uh, this is to be complete this is this will be completed in by November 2023. <laughs> Canteen and food facility, some of the students have uh, flagged the issue. Regarding food facility, TTD has decided to give you free food for all three times breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is not that uh, menu we prescribe and you eat the food whatever we prescribe. It is not the correct thing. I wanted a food committee among the students itself and also <laughs> and also provisions committee and store management committee. If these two committees uh, those who are interested, those who are dynamic and energetic, those who want to learn additional things in addition to the subject, voluntarily you can constitute these committees, provisions committee, store committee, food committee. And you design your own menu, whatever is required to cater to the needs of all North Indian students, South Indian students, everybody. So everybody should be happy and uh, they should be, the food arrangement should be available as per their wish. So you have your own committees. Since uh, we are supplying all the provisions uh, for your food requirement for an entire day, I request, I give you a proposal to you you decide because you are all 700 students are there. If you contribute 200 or 300 or 400 whatever per month, you can engage the best cooks. <laughs> TTD, Tirumal Tripad Devasthanam, as an organization is a government organization. Swims is also a government organization. If we provide cook, there are certain pay restrictions. Say maximum pay should not be more than 15,000 or 12,000 like that. So for that salary, you will not be able to get a good, professional, efficient, capable cook. So if you contribute, since we are giving provisions, we are, you are saving around 3,000 to 4,000 rupees per month. So contribute something and uh, have five, six cooks, best cooks. If you contribute by tomorrow, you will let me know that how much contribution you can make. You can uh, see pool together. I will talk to the best hoteliers in Tirupati and Chennai.
to provide you the best goods. So that uh, your choice menu and uh, the timing like late comers or early goers like uh, Dr. Mohan was saying you have to be in the class by 8 a.m. he is saying. So for all these purposes uh, if you engage your own cooks uh, if you manage your own food system you will be able to do everything properly. So as far as the provisions are concerned whatever menu you prescribe that provisions we will give you. Then regarding you said uh, some indoor stadium is required and uh, some sports facilities like basketball and uh, I say canteen, canteen also you can manage on your own. Whatever is the support required from the administration we will give. Please uh, have a committee how to establish canteen and how to run the canteen. You try and uh, you come up with uh, idea how to do it, we will definitely provide the canteen. See you are all very elder students, you are not uh, really children. So you have to manage on your own all these things uh, as a family. Then regarding polytechnic hostel, some of them are in polytechnic hostel. So they are likely to come out of the polytechnic hostel by November end. So there should not be any problem regarding water supply there and all. That we will tell the uh, principal polytechnic as well as uh, our engineering department who is in charge of uh, polytechnic college uh, to provide you good water facility. And also they are saying that buses are overloaded from hostel to college. Na? From hostel to college you can walk down. Na? Why buses? From Polytechnic, huh? from Polytechnic. Oh, Polytechnic only two months is there now. So after two months, the entire you are you are you will be shifted to your campus. So there is no need of uh, buses thereafter. So these two months uh, that overriding problem, I will talk to GM Transport. Uh, I will try to uh, redress this uh, problem also. But other than Polytechnic hostel, any other place you are staying? Vedic. Vedic is nearby only, you can walk down. Na? Vedic is as good as in your campus only. But all of you will be shifted by November end. And regarding classrooms, air conditioning, that will be done. We will do it. Okay. Uh, and uh, one student uh, has asked, uh, but I wanted to tell that uh, once in a month or once in two months all of you all of you together out of 700 uh, either Sunday or Saturday even a holiday na, all of you should together walk up from Alipiri and uh, we will give you exclusive slot for all of you to have darshan While, while walking, you should also do some Sremadhan and uh, unwanted material which has been littered around, you have to pick up and put it in your... So, this, uh, this I wanted to propose but uh, it has come from your side, that will be done. So, you please talk to... Please talk to your principal and all your senior faculty and fix in a, in, in a year, say four times. You fix the dates and uh, along with your faculty you walk up and have darshan and uh, have, have food, free food in Anadhanam complex, free food distribution is there, then you come down. So, one more thing. Since your uh, medical college name is after uh, Ma Padmavati, so you must go to Ma Padmavati also for darshan. Here. That also, 
that also we will provide you all the facilities whenever you decide to go for Maa Padmavati Darshan. Then uh, some education tips uh, uh, one student has asked that I leave to director and principal and the faculty how to organize the educational trips uh, that you can decide. So these are the things which I think I have covered all of uh, your issues raised. Now, I would like to tell you very important uh, thing about the medical profession. Now, you asked that uh, you want to have darshan of the Lord. You are not really seeing the Lord. But you always believe that Lord Venkateshwara is there. You are going and having darshan and praying for certain blessings from Him for your better future. So, it is on belief. You don't see Him really. Whereas, what is the profession of a doctor? Doctor is a living God. He is a living God <laughs> for the patients. See, patient come to you having full faith and confidence on you about your capability that you are going to treat him well. You will make him alright from his disease. And uh, he blindly takes all the prescription whatever you write. Patient doesn't know what this medicine consists of. Whether it will do good thing for him or bad thing for him. But he believes and he swallows that medicine. If you want to inject some medicine into his body, he will give his hand for injection willingly, believing, believing you. And uh, if he has to undergo some surgery, he will willingly declare that uh, even if he die, he takes full responsibility for his death also. He will not make you responsible. He will take responsibility on himself. He will give declaration while undergoing general anesthesia and undergoing surgery. What is uh, the main, what you can say, interest for us, every human being? First interest is our body. First we care for our body. That is the most wanted thing for us. Thereafter, your father, your mother, your children, your friends, everybody. The most wanted thing for you is your body. And that body is being handed over to a doctor to do anything on that body. Such confidence patient is having on the doctor. So that means even for the God who do not, you, you don't see that God, but you believe him and you keep praying him. Whereas here you are seen directly and he hands over the body to you. That means you are a living God for the patients. So, when you are a living God on the earth for the patients, what does it mean? What is the meaning? Meaning is that if you go into the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita is not a religious text. It is not a Hindu religious text. It is a philosophy. Beyond science, Whatever science can't explain, Bhagavad Gita tells us. Bhagavad Gita has been given to us by Paramatma, that is Lord Vishnu, in Dwapara Yuga, in the incarnation of Lord Krishna to Arjuna, through Arjuna to all of us. He gives the philosophy. What is the philosophy he has given? Dehinosmin yada dehi kaumaram yavanam jara tata dehantara praptihi 
dhirastatra namuhyati. That means the body undergoes from childhood, then young age, middle age, finally old age, and finally the soul leaves the body and goes away. Nainam chindanti sastrani, nainam dahati pavakaha, nachainam kledayantyaopi, nacho chayati marutaha. This body is given to us by Paramatma. Is given to us, I am using given to us. Means us means who are we? We are not the body. We are, we are the soul, Atma. Nainam chandanti sastrani, nainam dahati pavakaha, nachainam kledayantyaopi, nachochayati marutaha. This soul cannot be destroyed by any knife or any shastra. This cannot be touched by water. This, this cannot be put to fire by the fire. And this cannot be touched by even air. So, this is eternal. There is no death for you. But you leave this body and go to acquire another body as per the directions and prescription by the Paramatma. So, Vasamsi Jirnani Yadha Vihaya Navani Grihnati Naroparani Tata Seriraya Vihaya Jirna Anyani Samyati Navani Dehi. Like the shirt or cloths, clothes, what we are wearing, if they are not useful to wear, we leave them and we buy new clothes for wearing. Similarly, the soul also leaves the body which is not fit to use it further. It leaves and it goes away. Jatasya hidruo mrutyu druom janma mrutasya cha tasmat apariharyarte natvam sochitu marhasi. That means the person who is born is bound to die. The person who die is bound to born. So this is the birth and death cycle which happens. Therefore, you need not worry about his birth and death, he says. Then finally he says, Karmanye vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahetur buhu matye sangyostya karmani. While giving this body to you, I have prescribed certain responsibilities to you. You fulfill those responsibilities using this body. And then the result of executing those responsibilities, leave it to me. Don't expect any results. I will see what result I have to give. I will decide the result. So, all these five slokas, Paramatma tells us through Arjuna. What does it mean? Body is temporary. It is made up of five uh, Panchabhutas. Agni, Vayu, Water, and earth and uh, one more thing uh, hmm? akasha akasha means space in body lot of spaces are also there so body acquires soul acquires this body through these panchabhutas and while leaving it leaves and goes away see once soul leaves the body then uh, once you put to fire it will convert into ashes once you bury also, it will perish. That means uh, from wherever it has acquired, it will leave it to them and goes away. Means like Einstein's theory of, uh, what do you say? That uh, matter cannot be created, matter cannot be destroyed, it is always constant. So it acquires, it leaves back. So this uh, in the birth and death recycle, whatever is happening. In my lot of research, my lot of quest into lot of texts, I found that there are two professions. See, human being is the topmost uh, living being created by the God among all more than 80 lakhs living beings. 
we are fortunate very fortunate to have this body to us and further if you want to go up what is there among the human beings who are the best every living being classification there are gradings the first after thorough research and after thorough study of so much of literature and discussion with a lot of veda pandits and all i found there are two professions best professions created by god on this earth because of their good virtues done in the previous birth those are number 1 doctors number 2 teachers these two are the these two are the best grade 1 you can say if you give grades to all the professions for all the human beings on the earth these are the first grade so that means all of you have done lot of punya in your previous janma that's why god has given you this profession karmanye vadikarasthe i said na ma phaleshu kadachana responsibilities these responsibilities to you making you living god for the other human beings so that is the importance of medical profession on this earth that's why i am not saying just like this to you i want to give you a practical example which i applied that to me i have a daughter and she was very much interested to pursue engineering but uh, right from childhood uh, i kept on saying her you have to become a doctor you have to become a doctor actually i wanted to become a doctor but unfortunately i came from a village background i do not know that much knowledge i did not have that much knowledge if i take mpc i cannot become a doctor so by default somebody told me mpc is the best so i filled up mpc and i joined in intermediate that is plus 1 and plus 2 mpc so i could not go into this direction so i lost my desire maybe in my previous janma i have not done, done that much punya that i should become a grade 1 citizen on this earth so i missed that opportunity so i wanted at least one of my child should become this and then i made my daughter to take by pc in the intermediate and then appear for mz and then become a doctor so fortunately i think she has done good punya in her previous janma she got fourth rank in mz and uh, she did her medicine from karnool medical college and uh, she has completed with outstanding record and uh, i am very you see fortunate to have that kind of child she has got 10 gold medals in the mbbs and then she wrote us mle and she has got outstanding scores in step 1 step 2 and also step 2 second stage she has got pediatric uh, residency that is md in one of the best colleges in usa she is in the final year residency and now she has applied for uh, Uh, that is super specialty that is called fellowship in the in, the, in usa she has got 50 interviews for fellowship also pediatric endocrinology so why i said about her story is that i give so much of importance to this profession that's why i wanted my child to come into this profession so this is the importance of this profession so please don't waste even single minute of uh, your time while studying medicine and if you waste even one minute uh, you are doing disservice uh, to the responsibilities which has been prescribed by the lord uh, to inject uh, to give this body to you to fulfill these responsibilities and you have to keep on thinking studying doing research how to become a best doctor and also how to treat patients in a best possible manner and now having said this uh, importance of uh, this profession to you on this earth second thing 
what is importance of uh, this college how this is better than even all indian institute of medical sciences of uh, delhi i'll give you see medicine if you read if you study either anatomy or physiology or biochemistry or surgery or medicine anything up to certain level only you can understand you can't understand so many things mystery of birth and mystery of death you can't understand by studying this medicine even doctor has to die even doctor has to born but you don't know mystery of birth and mystery of death why people are dying why people are born you don't know why this body is acquired by the soul how can you make this body is it possible to make this body but god makes how this body is made you know stages how it grows in the mother but you don't know how it how it how it acquires you don't know all these things are required to be known if you know these things you will become better doctor than even a doctor who has been who has come out of the all new institute medical sciences that facility is available here so that facility is available from vedic university whatever medical science stops explaining vedic science will give you complete knowledge of beyond your medical science or any science for that matter so you have sv vedic university just adjacent to you there is life after death death is not to you death is to only body not to the soul soul is eternal so these things if you know practically and also you should believe for believing because you are all science students you need some justification all these justifications will be given to you by our vedic university to know all these mysteries of birth and death once you know the mysteries of birth and death and you yourself believe this completely then treating patients will be much better by combining your knowledge of vedic sciences on this aspect and you are prescribing medicine to the patients if you combine both the things then you will become a better doctor than any other doctor who is coming out any other colleges this is this facility is available to you see this profession needs a lot of ethics i already told you that you are a living god i already told you and proved beyond doubt that in the birth and death cycle you have achieved the topmost position among human beings that you have achieved now what you have to achieve is that you have to further achieve what you have to achieve is that beyond this uh, i don't think uh, nothing is there on the in, uh, in in human beings you have to leave this uh, birth and death cycle and uh, unite with parmatma get liberated from birth and death cycle what you have to do is that you have to do your responsibilities on ethics you should not do any wrong thing you should not uh, exploit a patient so if you do right things in an ethical manner then 100% uh, i believe and also if you interact with uh, vedic professors uh, you will know that uh, you will get liberated from your birth and death cycle if you do wrong practices and uh, unethical practices you are going to down to birth and death cycle maybe people if they exploit patient patient comes to you believing that you are a god if you cheat him what will you have punishment by the god is that you may born as a dog or rat or snake or anything else in 80 lakh living beings you may go down and again coming coming up is very very difficult hours baby was done 72 hours baby and uh, six heart transplants have been done 
yesterday also one transplant has been done unfortunately one boy met with an accident in guntur brain dead case it was informed recipient was available in our hospital here our team went i arranged even helicopter to bring the heart heart was but heart was brought here within within one and a half hour from guntur after see harvesting then yesterday successfully they have transplanted the heart and the patient is doing very well so that is the kind of excellency we have achieved in pediatric cardiac center when we could achieve under the same ttd leadership both board and bird and this pediatric hospital why can't swims so swims also now started i think improving under our director dr rv kumar and uh, your new principal all of you should work as a team and make uh, swims as well as padmavati medical college to be recognized as best in the world, best in india also in the world so that uh, there should be more competition to join in padmavati medical college than arunay institute of medical sciences in delhi that kind of uh, see name and fame and credibility you have to bring in for both the institutes that is what uh, ttd wants and i want for doing this uh, whatever support you want from ttd like financial support infrastructural support any support whatever you require we are there to support you please make this uh, as best medical college and best institute